someone might say, I can't take dairy. I'm lactose intolerant. I have problems with dairy. Does that still apply with the cow colostrum that you're talking about? So that's a food allergy, right? What is a food allergy? A food allergy is caused by a Th2 immune response. So if people are allergic to dairy or allergic to any foods, that's what's happening. They're having a Th2 immune response. Uh, a dairy allergy is causing IgG antibodies to be produced, causing a food allergy. Okay? It could be an uh, airborne or pathog um, pollen allergy causing IgG mm -hmm. antibodies. Depends on what the allergy is. It's still a Th2 response. Now, like I said, if you take cow colostrum containing the peptides, one of the functions of the peptides is to downregulate the production of particular Th2 cytokines, so you stop the propagation of that type of cascade. And the, 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 the cytokines that cause Th2 production uh, into leukin 4, 5, 9, 13, that, those levels have to be high in order for the reaction, the Th0 cells, the immature native T cells, to form Th2 cells. If those levels of those particular cytokines are not high, the reaction doesn't progress. Now, colostrum peptides, they trigger, um, a lot of them trigger the G-protein couple type receptors on the receptor sites of the activated T cells. And those particular receptors are responsible for modulating different levels of cytokines. Um, I think 2012, the Nobel Prize was given to chemistry for a couple of US scientists that figured that out. Because hmm. we really, it's only recently that we've kind of understood how do cells produce cytokines and work? How does the communication work within a cell? The fundamentals are understand, understand it, uh, uh, well understood, but the details needed to be worked out. So this is new stuff that we're, uh, we're working out, understanding the immune system. It's, it's new technology. We're getting a better handle on it now. And one of my messages is to try to communicate that to, to doctors and to the consumers about this is how the immune system works. And understanding a little bit about it can, can, go, can help us in a long way. Mm -hmm. Why are we sick? Well, a lot of the reasons why we're sick is because our immune system is out of balance. So the key is to put it back in balance. Not boost the immune system, not suppress the immune system, but keep the immune system functioning like it should be. And if that's the case, you, like I said, you lower the probability of becoming symptomatic. So you can take cow colostrum into humans. You could take goat colostrum and I think there's small amounts of that available too for mm -hmm. humans because the peptides are exactly the same. The growth factors are the same too. It's just the immunoglobulins are different, but by taking peptides into a gut which is permeable, even if bovine IgG gets into the body, the peptides themselves will actually downregulate any type of immune response caused by that passage. Mm -hmm. So somebody with leaky gut issues can take it if you buy a colostrum that still has the peptides in it. Now, not all, col all colostrums are created the same, but the production in, of colostrums can be different. If you have a colostrum company that's removing the peptides because they want a high IgG uh, type concentrate, because that's what people think colostrum is, oh, it's got immunoglobulins, that's one, but that's one-fifth of colostrum. The most important component of colostrum are these peptides. And if you remove that through filtration processes in the processing plant, then that's not good because you want to, that's if bovine IgG gets into the body, the peptides are not there, it's not going to balance that system. Mm -hmm. So you, whenever you want to get a colostrum, you want to make sure that it has high levels of natural peptides in it. It hasn't been changed because the best thing to do is just take stuff that's natural. Don't mm -hmm. adulterate it. Don't uh, change it. Don't alter the chemistry. The best thing is to take stuff that's as natural as possible. And the less it's processed, the better. Now, why do we process colostrum? Why don't we just take raw colostrum? I wish everybody did. I wish everybody could take raw colostrum from the dairies. But nobody has access to a dairy farm right next door. So the next best thing is to, is to produce a powder out of it. Mm. So when you produce a powder, you have to have low heat treatment, low pressure processing, gently produce a powder that's safe, that meets the uh, food regulations in terms of pathogen control, chemistry, um, and uh, no contaminants. Uh, it meets food safety regulations. Then people can take that as a powder because a powder lasts a lot longer than raw colostrum. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was, I was, I'm from a dairy farm. <clears throat> you know, 
know, I was brought up as a kid you know, mm. on a dairy farm. And then I was always, you know, I would go and my, my job when I was a kid, you know, my brother was milking the cows and I'm the second brother. I get to feed the, ca the calves. That's the lower form of thing to do, you know, because my brother was milking the cows. I, I'm actually ended up feeding the calves. I would carry these buckets of this yellow milk stuff and I'd go feed the calves. And I knew from back then, that, and I'm, I'm old, I'm 44 now. So in the early 70s, I was feeding cows the calves this colostrum, and I know they really liked it, and they did well on it. Um, but um, I, I understand the industry because I'm from a dairy farm. I fed calves colostrum. Um, and then, um, I'm from New Zealand, I guess people mm -hmm. have figured out the accent. People think I'm from Australia, but I don't care. I'm from down under. And, you know, and my parents and her, their parents were always dairy farmers, so I understand the system. So I knew that this was important, this colostrum, and it's different than milk. So um, um, I ended up just learning more about it, studying it, you know, going to a few colleges, and then ended up, hey, well, I'm full circle. <laughs> I'm selling the stuff that I used to feed calves yeah. back in the 70s. <laughs> so, but do what you do well. You know, I don't claim to be an airline pilot or anything. I just do what I do well and mm. enjoy it. I like helping people, you know. I get letters every day from people saying, oh, thank you, I feel so much better these days. I started on the colostrum, you know, um, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm less symptomatic. It's great. And the big push these days is in the, is, is in the medical field because doctors are understanding the immune system mm -hmm. more and more. They understand the value of healing the gut and how to do that through taking colostrum supplements. Mm. Um, and it's fun, you know, and I like talking about it. I could talk about this for hours. You can tell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, you know, I come in here and I, I don't have a script. I just yeah. sit down and talk about it for yeah. hours. You know, so it's fun.